in an election tax force briefing over what's happening in Arizona. And Madam Secretary, you see like flashing, you know, red warning signs and sirens here based on what's happening in Arizona. Why? Oh, well, because we're we're witnessing an event that has absolutely unprecedented uh Mo uh, movement in, in elections. We've never seen a private company be able to come in and, and take command and control of live ballots that were used in an election. And uh, the precedence of this is just uh, unnerving for election officials across the country. And it should alarm every American in the country because we don't want people to be able to just, you know, walk into a crime scene and contaminate evidence uh, for, for a future trial. Your particular and that's what this is. Also about the partisan recounts in elections. What do you mean and why? Well, a, a recount to be credible needs to be transparent. The public needs to be able to see every facet of it. They need to be assured that there are Democrats and Republicans and independents in the room actually conducting the, the recount with policies and procedures in place so that, so that everyone knows what's happening. And if they find a discrepancy, they can all agree that there's, there's a problem. But what's happening in Arizona, no one knows because no one can actually watch it. How worried are you that you say this is unprecedented, but I've got a feeling the way things are going, this may not be the last time. Well, I'm worried because now they've given a new playbook to uh, campaigns and political parties. And, and make no mistake, this won't stop with the Republican Party. Uh, what we could see you know, down the road is whatever political parties in charge of a state legislature, if they don't like the outcome of an election, then let's just go ahead and make up an audit, make up a process, make up some sort of review, and uh, the public will not mm -hmm. be well served, right. and the public will have trouble being uh, having any confidence in those results. Finally, you, you've made clear you think that the the former president, Donald Trump, suppressed Republican vote. How so? Well, you know, here in Washington, we don't register by party, so it's hard to really tell. But we saw a real uptick in ball ballot drop box usage here in Washington. And that was probably partly because of the rhetoric that the president had about mail-in ballots being uh, corrupt and uh, things that happened with the USPS. So, uh, you know, voters lost confidence. And uh, that's all voters, not just voters in the Democratic Party. Kim Wyman, Secretary of State in Washington, thank you so much for being with us this morning.